So let's find the greatest common factor for six and nine. So here's how we do it. So greatest common factor, that GCF, sometimes you'll see it called the greatest common divisor or the highest common factor. We're going to go with greatest common factor here, GCF. So what we do when we find the factors for six and nine, look at the common factors and choose the greatest one. That's the GCF. So for six, one times six, that equals six and two times three, that equals six. That's all. For nine, we'd have one times nine, and then three times three equals nine. Those are the factors for nine. So we have our factors. Let's find the ones in common. One, that goes into six, and one, that goes into nine evenly. So that's a common factor. Two, no, but three. It looks like three here. That's the greatest common factor that goes into six and nine evenly. So in answer to our question, the GCF for six and nine, that's going to be three. You could use other methods like prime factorization to find the GCF for six and nine, but unless you have really big numbers, this is a pretty good technique. This is Dr. V. Thank you for watching.